Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello, hello. It's me, LaShawn, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad that you decided to stop by here once again and to join me here on my YouTube channel. I feel blessed today. I feel happy today. And I'm so glad to be here once again on YouTube. Now, if you're new here, I like to start off by saying a little bit about myself so you'll get to know me. Um, I am LaShawn. I am the divorced mother of three adult children, 22, 24, and 30. Two boys and a girl. And I am a United States Navy veteran. I am also a surgical tech, and now I spend my days here on YouTube. And what I do on this channel is I attempt every single day when I take my first breath, after I say thank you, Father, for letting me live just one more day, I get on my YouTube channel and I try to motivate, inspire, encourage, and then uplift anybody and everybody that I can because life is too short. And we need to be lifting people up instead of bringing them down and busting them down. So that's what I do. I try to uplift and encourage as many people as I can. So that's what I use this channel for. And I'm hoping that you'll come back day after day and join me here. So take a minute, just a second, to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But even more than that, click the button so that you're notified every time I come out with a new video, okay? Okay, so today. Today's video is about me and my mobility scooter. Yeah, I get excited every time I take it out. Now, I don't leave it outside because it can't fit in the little storage room that the, that's out here in the projects. And uh, I have done my research and somebody will clip me, okay? Somebody will try to steal my scooter. So I have to bring the entire scooter inside my little apartment and it takes up the whole section of the side. And so it's a, I have to prepare if I know that I'm going out and use my scooter. But again, we do not want to fall and we're doing whatever we have to do to be safe. So today I'm going out, I'm taking my scooter out because I have to go to the store. And um, it's just, it's, it's tough, times are tough. So I'm gonna try to attempt to get what I need from the gas station instead of spending money back and forth with an Uber. And it's just, it's getting out of hand. So I'm about to take the scooter for a ride and check out the view. It's my equivalent of a walk. And I'll do that, that'll be my activity. So, um, you can join me here as I take a ride on my mobility scooter. But I also want to tell you that if you just got the news that you are in need of a scooter, in need of a walker, in need of a wheelchair, or that you have to use a cane for the first time, I'm sorry that you got that news today. But you know what? Turn that sadness into greatness. Turn that sadness into joy, knowing that at least you're able to get out and get about. It's so many people that can't even leave their home. So let's be grateful. Let's be thankful to God for what we do have and not long for the things that we cannot have, okay? So I'm grateful. I want to start off the video by saying that I'm happy, I'm grateful, and I feel blessed that I'm able to have my scooter because it has changed my life and I'm able to be more self-sufficient now that I do have my mobility scooter. So I hope that you enjoy this video and if you are confined to a wheelchair, a walker, you have a cane or whatever your limitations are that you will be motivated by this video today. Okay? Enjoy the video. Right here in Jacksonville. Beautiful day. And this is my yard right here.
road I go on my scooter on my scooter and this is my new life on my scooter Ooh, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood scooter it is such a beautiful day and I just want to show you around Jacksonville this morning oh look at the ducks over there maybe if we go this way we can look at the ducks nope you can't see the ducks past the um This is a parking lot by my house. This is the little area right here with the trees. I used to walk all the way to right here, turn around and then go back to the house. It's beautiful right when it starts to get dark at night, right up in this area. Okay, look, be still for a minute. So I'm headed down the street and I just wanted to stop and say that whatever your new reality is, whatever your view is, whether your view is from a wheelchair, a walker, a scooter, a cane, if you got a limp, or if you're just having difficulty walking with limited mobility, you know, we all have been through some type of trauma. We've all been through some type of adjustment. And right now, this is the period of adjustment where you're trying to figure out Lord, what do I do? I can't get around like I used to. I just want to tell you that things are going to get better. It's really tough, especially for somebody like me that got up and walked every day, that some days you just can't. Some days you just can't. And that's, I know that's a really tough thing, but you have to really try. Okay, let me... I'm going to start back moving. <sighs> So, that's really it for now. The ducks are out there, but you, can you see them over there? They're not really doing that much today. got here it rains so you got a lot of build up of water right here a lot of build up of water Electrical Training Alliance of Jacksonville. And over there is Lion Gates Apartments. I really love those. They just redid all the steps over there. It's very nice. It's not too bad right here. It's really a beautiful day. The birds are out. The ducks are out. The homeless people are out. Okay, everybody out in Jacksonville trying to get this sun. Me, I'm finna get a bag of ice. That's what I'm out here for. But a day on my scooter is always a nice situation. And so now I have to pay attention because I have to cross the street. So no more recording right now. How much further to go? We are almost close to the house. So I've clicked the camera back to myself so that I can show you that I'm almost by the house. I'm still on my scooter, as you can see. This is me on my scooter. 
and I am simply enjoying this beautiful day. And I hope that wherever you are today that you're enjoying this beautiful weather because it's no, it's not really a reason to stay in the house if you don't have to. If you're able to get out in your wheelchair, get out in your wheelchair and just sit outside. If you got a walker, go for a walk with your walker. If you got a cane, try to get to the mailbox today. Each step is a good step, okay? Each push is a good push. <laughs> I'm so happy today because it's raining for the last couple of days and I haven't been able to get out here like I want to, but I am very happy. The weather is beautiful. I love Florida. I'm so grateful that I decided to stay here. But now I gotta go to the house because I got ice, don't want it to melt. So we are back and I had the best time. I got me some ice because that's the main thing. If you haven't uh, figured it out, I have to buy ice because my little refrigerator does not have an ice maker and the freezer is so small that when I try to put trays in there and I got, you know, my meat and different things in there, it's not big enough for all that. So I just get a bag of ice, it's easier that way. And that way I can have the chopped ice the way I want it. Okay, so it was a nice outing. We had a good outing. We saw ducks, we saw birds. We were a part of the living today. We got up and made something happen. We got up off the couch, we got out of the bed and we did an activity. The purpose here, our goal here is to do something every single day. Our goal here is to be active every single day, even if it's walking to the mailbox. We are going to do something productive on any given day, okay? So I hope that you enjoyed the video today. I hope that it motivated you. I hope that it encouraged you to get up and get moving today because that's our goal, okay? So at this point in the video, I like to breathe in and breathe out. It helps me to feel better. You don't have to do it, but it makes me feel better, okay? All right. Let's breathe in and breathe out. You ready? We thank you, Father. We are so grateful for another day, Father God. We thank you, Father, for letting us live just one more day. We are grateful. So wherever you go today, wherever you head out to work, to school, to the gas station, to Taco Bell, it don't matter. Wherever you are headed today, be happy, be joyful, and be grateful that you woke up this morning. And always remember, there is someone worse off than you. When you start to complain, uh, think about, oh, it's somebody worse off than me. And then it'll snap you out of that pity party that you're in. And I'm not being harsh. I'm just saying I've seen some terrible things in my life. Okay? So wherever you head today, be happy, be joyous, put a smile on your face, and treat people with respect. It's the only way to live. Okay? So have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you, and so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.